Well, I know Willie Brown very well. In fact, I went down in a helicopter with him. We thought maybe this is the end. We were in a helicopter going to a certain location together, and there was an emergency landing. This was not a pleasant landing, and Willie was <laughs> he was a little concerned. So I know him. I know him pretty well. I mean, I haven't seen him in years. Uh, but he told me terrible things about her. But this is what you're telling me anyway, I guess. But he he had a big part in what happened with Kamala. But he he I don't know. Maybe he's changed his tune. But he uh, he was not a fan of hers very much at that point. This matters because a lot of people don't want to hear about this. While this is very popular in, in online and people are saying different things, but bringing up Kamala Harris's sexual past is not going to stop swing voters or the base from voting for her. Now it 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 you know it makes kind of like me it's memeish on social media, but even that has died down quite a bit. And so I think Trump has to be careful and being baited to even talking about it. And this is gonna be important when it comes to the debates, which three are now scheduled according to Trump. With all of that being said, I think it's very important to have debates. And we've agreed with Fox on a date of September 4th. We've agreed with NBC, fairly full agreement subject to them on September 10th. And we've agreed with ABC on September 25th. So we have those three dates, and uh, those networks, uh, they're very anxiously awaiting that date and those dates. Uh, so we have September, September 4th, September 10th, and September 25th. Uh, we have spoken to the heads of the network, and it's all been confirmed, uh, other than uh, some fairly minor details, audience, uh, some location, which which city would we put it into, but all things that will be settled very easily, very, I think it'll be very easy. Uh, the other side has to agree to the terms. They may or may not agree. I don't know if they're going to agree. They, she hasn't done an interview. She can't do an interview. She's barely competent, and she can't do an interview. But I look forward to the debates because I think we have to set the record straight. So there you have it. We have the three debates that are supposed to take place. Kamala Harris team has to agree to the terms. I think we will see three debates coming up. I think they're going to be able to hammer out the terms of this. And it can kind of put away what Donald Trump is scared to debate Kamala Harris and Kamala Harris, this, that, and the other. So we're going to actually see these two go toe to toe. And if it's any indication, Donald Trump basically knocked Biden out of the race last time. I wouldn't say Biden actually knocked himself out of the race. Trump was actually quite nice to him in there and didn't really dig in. I think he felt sorry for him because he was in such cognitive decline. So once we see them before the issues and, and everything that comes out, will that be enough to sway voters? I did a video previously that even though people, you know, polling, which you can trust it as so by so much, but polling shows that pe while people believe Trump is better with the economy and several other key issues, for some reason Kamala Harris is still you know up in the polls or ticking up in the polls and you know closing out that gap between that he had once before between him and Biden and between him and her because she was just unpopular unknown. But we know she's the media's darling now. So this is what we're going to get. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about him speaking about Willie Brown or the debates that are coming up. And I will see you on the next one.